Hello everyone, this is Eddie. Last lesson we looked at a bit of data logging, so you should be looking at this screen now, understanding what is happening. If you don't, then please uh, have a look at our previous tutorial. So what we're doing now is we're going to make your robot do other things as well as logging data at the same time. So in order to do that, we need to start by adding a new program instead of a new experiment. If you remember this interface, this is where we wrote all of our programs earlier on. And surprisingly, we can make our robot log data at the same time in this interface. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag onto the screen a move steering block. The move steering block, if you guys remember, just allows you to move two motors at a time. So the motors are motor B, motor C, and I'm setting the power level to 50, and I'm going to make it move forward for four seconds. For four seconds, and at the end of the four seconds, it's going to break. So it's going to start moving. So that's the first thing I'm going to have. And the second thing I'm going to do is at the same time as it is moving, so I'm going to drag on another start block. And at the same time that it's moving forward, I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I'm going to drag onto the screen a data logging block. This is what is going to make the brick record the data. So what data are we recording? Well, I'm going to go to port number four, which is where I have connected my ultrasonic sensor. So here I'm going to choose uh, measure ultrasonic sensor distance in centimeters. So it's gonna record from my ultrasonic sensor how far away the distance of the object in front of the robot is, or behind the robot, which you'll see in a second. So it's going to be on for a time of four seconds as well. Right, so the duration is gonna be set to four seconds. And the sample rate is going to be five readings five readings per second five samples per second so that's what the zero means so once these two things are done i'm going to stop the program at the end of this data logging so you only need to stop program at the end of this line okay now i want you to try downloading this program to your robot, make sure you name it with a meaningful description. So I'm going to call it move forward distance. And I'm going to now download this program to my robot. So it's downloaded. So you can see originally the robot is standing very close to the wall and I'm going to start the program and as the robot is traveling straight forward away from the wall, it's going to record the readings from the distance sensor for four seconds. So let's have a look. So it's done the program and now let's retrieve the data. So connect your robot to the computer and now what we're going to do is open up a new experiment. Open up a new experiment and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools and then go to data log file manager. And if you go into your um, project which is called Eddie experiment 
and you can see here it's logged a bit of data so because I've run the experiment a few times it's created um, different files and what I want to do is go to the one with the highest number on the end because as you can see from the timestamp it is the most recent piece of data so open up my data number two click import and then close and you can see that the data looks a little bit like a straight line and the reason for that is obviously because the robot is going further and further away from the wall so at the end of the experiment the line is approximately one meter away sorry the line is sitting at one meter which means the robot is one meter away from the wall. Now let's get this data to Excel. So again, let's go to um, Tools, Export Data Set, and let's put it in a CSV file again. So let's call it Eddie Distance Experiment. Save it. Okay, now let's go to that folder and open up the CSV file in Excel. And you can see here that it's got the time in seconds and it's got the distance. It's got the distance in meters. And again, we can draw a scatter plot. Right, if you go to data. Uh, sorry, not data, insert, scatter, and choose the one on the top left called scatter with only markers. So this way, you have to add the line yourself. Again, let's put in the axis titles, horizontal axis title is the seconds, uh, time in seconds, and the vertical axis title, the vertical axis is distance away from wall in meters and the title of the graph is distance versus time graph and what I want to do now is I want to insert what's called a trend line so using the button that says trend line click on that click linear trend line so it is added a straight line to the graph. So if you delete the legend and make the graph a little bit bigger, okay, you can see the line is a straight line. Even though the dots are not straight, we have used a straight line to simulate the to predict the dots. So if you click on the straight line and you can click on the trend line button again go to more trend line options and click on display equation and this is basically the equation of the line okay so that is uh, the end of this tutorial thanks for watching see you next time